Recently, we took a look at the At Games Legends Ultimate Mini Arcade Machine. And while I understand that version of their machines won't be for everyone, especially with it being a single player unit, smaller screen, I do see the appeal for some people. Maybe you just don't have enough space. You just want a single player machine. Maybe you want it to supplement another machine you have. Whatever the case may be, that is fine. Myself, personally, I prefer the two player Legends Ultimate Machine. But in that video, a lot of people were asking about the CoinOps X build that I was running and how easy it is to get that set up to play thousands of retro games. I mean, I'm playing tons of stuff that are on the, you know, an arcade build, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Simpsons arcade game, all the different Street Fighters, Dig Dug, Donkey Kong, Miss Pac-Man. I mean, the list goes on and on. Marvel versus Capcom. There's tons of stuff that I'm playing through that build. But you can also play stuff like Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, PC Engine. There's tons of stuff there as well. And this process that we're gonna go through today is gonna be the same regardless of whatever build you use. Now, I am using a pre-built setup. CoinOps X Arcade version five is a live Saucy Edition. Now, I cannot direct you straight to that download, but I will tell you the Internet Archive search for chefs of Reddit sauce and look for CoinOps X Arcade version five. There's tons of other builds you can use, just depends on what you're looking for, but this process is gonna be the same. So a couple things we have to do to get set up. We need a USB thumb drive. I'm using the SamDisk uh, Fit 3.1 USB drive, 128 gigabytes. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in this one. I just bought this one to make another build for one of my other machines. So that's what we're gonna to use today. We have to get this set up, but before we do that, one other thing you're gonna to need to do is download the add-on X tool. It's gonna to be on the At Games website. I'll put a link directly to that. That's no big deal. But once you get that CoinOps X build downloaded, you're gonna have a few things. There's gonna be a few files that are folders that you're gonna to have to extract. And a few of them are fixes or updates to cab art, that kind of thing. And then you're gonna have the main one, which is the actual build here, CoinOps X Arcade version five. So you will have to have all of these unzipped and ready to go. So just, we'll get back to that in a moment. Let's get that USB drive set up because this is a very important step. Okay, so I have the USB drive plugged into my computer via a USB port. And as you see it, on my computer, it's USB drive E. So make note of what drive it actually is. Now the next thing we need to do, I'm using Windows 10. So that's what this is based on. I can't really explain any other way. That's what I use. So we're gonna go to the search bar at the bottom, start typing in disk management until you, you could stop whenever you see the create and format hard disk partitions. Open that up. And then you're gonna locate that USB drive that we just plugged in. So for me, it was E. Make sure you're double checking. Don't just be like, oh, he said it's E. It's not gonna be E for you. It may be something else, very important. So we located it, it's right here. I'm going to right click it, click delete volume, click yes, so that's unallocated now. Now we need to create two partitions. The first one is gonna be for the flash drive X on the actual At Games Legends device. We need to have a partition set for it, the system's own files that need to be used to recognize the drive. It's also used to download games that they offer like the pinball stuff. So the next thing we're gonna do is right click on the unallocated space on that drive and then click new simple volume. So you're gonna go through the uh, new simple volume wizard, just click next. And then right here, we don't wanna use the entire space of the drive. So what we're gonna type in is 16, three, eight, four. Of course you could use a little less, you could use a little more. This is gonna be 16 gigabytes pretty much exactly. So. I've noticed when I've done it this way, I have had no issues. Click next, assign a, a drive letter. I'll just leave it what they have it as. There we go. I'm gonna change the uh, file system to FAT32 and then click next, finish, and then boom, 16 gigabytes on that partition. So now the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is set up the next partition. As you saw, the, that drive just popped up. We don't really care about that one. We're not gonna add anything to that from here. So next, what we need to do is allocate the rest of it. So click, right click on the other unallocated part, click new simple volume, click next. 
just leave it as the remaining amount because you know we want to use it completely for the second partition. Click next, drive letter, whatever. And then right here, we're gonna put it to EX fat, click next, click finish. And now we are done with that part. So from here, we have that volume, the second partition. Like I said, has to be the second partition for our coin op sex build. Do not make it the first partition. Keep the first partition, that 16 gigabytes or whatever you dedicated to it to be able to be used for the actual at game system. Now this next one, we can go ahead and get out of disk management. We are done with that. So in this new uh, drive letter that we have here, that's where we're gonna put all this stuff. But let's get this set up. You could do this one of two ways. Either get everything added to the build now, or you could wind up just doing it bit by bit as you transfer it to the actual USB drive. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna open that in a new window. So there we go. Set this aside right here so we could start transferring stuff to it before we put it in the actual drive. So we'll start from the first one. Add to items inside to the COX custom folder. So let's find the COX custom folder. There we go. Now updated cabs. We're gonna go ahead and select everything here and just drag it over however you wanna do it. And that'll take a second. Move it to the custom. If it needs to replace anything, just click replace the files. There we go. So that, that part's done. Now let's go ahead and go back to the next add. This is gonna be custom folder new cab art. This is gonna be the same thing, essentially just some cab art. Put this in the same custom folder. Boom, replace file destinations. We are good there. So let's go ahead and go back on both. Now the next thing is the fix pack. So let's open that up, see what we need. First, place these items in the arcade folder. So let's go back to the root of the actual build here. Arcade folder, opened up, open this up. We'll just copy all those over. These are all the UCE files. Boom, replace the files in that destination. Go back. Second, these go into the COX folder. Let's open that up open this up, and then just take these three uh, files, or folders anyway, copy it over to that build, replacing the destination. And I believe that was it. Let me double check. Yep, that was it. There's some directions listed here if you just wanna read it, but you know, whatever. So we are done with that. Now we have our full on CoinOpsX build. We can go ahead and transfer this stuff over to our USB drive. So. These down here, these text files, you don't need to worry about that crap. Just the folders. Take those from your download that we just updated everything on and take it to your USB drive, that second partition, and drag and drop them over. Let it transfer, just depending on whatever's going on with your computer. Could take a while. Mine says two hours and 40 minutes. It shouldn't take that long. Typically, it starts speeding up. But we're going to just set it and forget it at that point. We will come back when that's 100% complete because there is another step. This isn't going to work the way we have it. Not for CoinOpsX anyway. So we will be back. Okay, so moving on. We now have everything transferred over to that USB drive on the root of the drive. Don't create any other like folders or anything. Just copy everything straight over. Didn't take quite as long as it initially said. But the next part definitely is going to take a while. And it is another set it and forget it type of thing. So if you remember, I told you download that add-on X tool because we are gonna need it. Now I have that on my desktop right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Add-on X tool 1.0.19. Not sure if that's the latest, but you'll get the latest if you download straight from their website. So all you're gonna do is go to choose and then you're gonna choose the drive. Make sure you don't choose anything else. Choose that drive that you put the CoinOps X build on. And that's it, don't choose a folder, just choose the drive. So weird letter E in this video, that's what my drive is. I'm just gonna click okay. Now, as you see, it shows drive letter E. All I'm gonna do is click build. It's gonna do its magic, but like I said, it could take a while. So just leave it alone. Go do something else, like don't touch your computer, whatever, the, whatever you need to do. Just have fun, come back in about an hour. This could take like an hour, maybe a little less, maybe a little longer. I think this particular build 
does take around an hour to build it. That's what this is doing. It's building it. So we're going to let this run through and then come back and test it out. Actually, we can't test it out right away. We still have a couple things we have to do on the actual Legends unit. So we'll be back and doing that. Okay, so a few hours later, well, actually 55 minutes, 51 seconds, but I came back a few hours later. Had stuff to do, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and pull that USB drive out of the PC and plug it into our At Games Legends device. We have a couple things we need to do before we're getting into that gaming goodness. So let's do it. Okay, we're now at the home stretch here. So we have the USB drive plugged into our At Games Legends device. It can be any of them. The Legends Ultimate, the Legends Ultimate Mini, the Gamer Pro, the Gamer Mini, a core unit, whatever you got in the Legends family, this is going to work just the same. So we're going to navigate over to the settings screen and go to Flash Drive X and hit the A button. And then once we're in there, we're going to choose the format. So you see it's highlighted like a pinkish purple. Click Format, press the A button, and then Yes. And it should be successful, takes a second. I've never seen it not be successful, but if it fails for whatever reason, maybe you formatted your drive incorrectly for that partition. So it says format a success. Now choose mount. We got to mount that bish to get it ready. So go ahead and hit A. Yes, it'll process, should be successful, and we will be ready to go. Now we have one other thing to do real quick. And that is to go to the App Store X. Now, in App Store X, it should be right there. Coin Ops X. We're going to go ahead. Oh, I just jumped away. Jumped away from me. We're going to go ahead and press A to select it. Get into this screen. Press A again. It's going to ask us if we want to install it. It's a 40 kilobyte freaking install. So let's go ahead. Or 120, whatever it said. It's very small. Once that is installed, downloaded, installed, we should be ready to go. So let's go ahead and launch the application. Okay, one quick note while this is booting up. If you get an error the first time you install CoinOpsX, all you need to do is reboot the system and it'll be recognized. It sometimes happens the first time you install it through what we just did and mount the drive. You, it may not recognize it, so just reboot and you're good going forward. Okay, so everything booted up just fine. And while we're in the front end here, You'll see all your games on the right. You could scroll through, look at a little, you know, video of each game. You got a little clip art in the background, some kind of artwork and whatnot. Your marquee is very nicely done with these builds to help you decide what you want to play. There's tons of games on here. Now, up and down, you could choose a game, right? Press A to boot it up. Left and right on this particular build, you have a bunch of different categories like SNK, Sega, uh, Nintendo, that kind of thing, Williams, tons of different categories you could select through, uh, like two-player, multiplayer games, light gun games, all that good stuff, making it easy to go through and play whatever you want to play. So let's go ahead and boot up a game real quick. X-Men it is. So there we go. You press uh, down and start to insert coins on most of these games. Uh, some games you can do save states. It's grayed out on this game because it doesn't support it, but other games that do, it won't be grayed out. It'll tell you when you boot the game up if you could use that or not. And then you have button remapping, display mode like Pixel Perfect, you know, stretch that bish out, that kind of thing, and then scan line options. Or just insert coins from here. You could select like, oh yeah, I want to I enter three coins, right? All the games have bezels and whatnot. Really nice looking build, and I really hope that this video help you guys out if you are looking to get this set up to add tons of different games to your system. I think it's really awesome. I love using this build on the At Games Legends Ultimate and the newly released Mini. And I'm actually using it on a core unit right now just so I could record a little more easier to show you guys the footage of everything. So it does in fact work on all the different Legends systems and it works great being able to play all these retro games I think is awesome. I, I focused on arcade stuff because that's what I really care about. But like I said, you could add console games from tons of different systems if you wanted to. So there's that. Give you guys a big ass blurry thumb butt. Appreciate every single one of y'all. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.